Hello friends, welcome to our channel Google Galaxy. Today we are going to discuss the VBT balance bond theory. As I told earlier in the previous lectures that every theory has its own significance. We can never explain the characteristics, all characteristics of covalent bond with the help of a single theory. We can never explain with the help of Lewis theory. We can never explain with the help of VSCPR but what we need we need to understand all theory because every theory has its own significance is having own importance and has a tendency to explain the characteristics few characteristics of covalent bond between the molecules well when we talk about the, this vbt theory the point to me remember the important point to me remember is what that vbt vbt theory is based on the atomic orbitals is based on the atomic orbitals it means we are going to discuss the we are going to draw the Huns rule as we already did already did in the atomic structure chapter as we already did in the atomic structure chapter okay when we say uh, I'll give you the example uh, a good example I hope you will understand you will definitely understand okay if I just say a hydrogen when the two hydrogen atoms combine to form a molecule will release energy will release energy when a molecule is formed between the two hydrogen atoms a molecule is formed between the two hydrogen atoms or I can say molecule is formed an energy is released what does this shows this shows that energy of hydrogen molecule is less as compared to as compared to hydrogen atom if the energy is least it means already energy is present before making energy is present before making a molecule so whenever so remember this point whenever atoms combine to form molecule there is always decrease in energy these are the important points remember that VBT theory is based on the atomic orbitals the second point a molecule is having the whenever atoms combine atoms combine to form a molecule there is always decrease in energy decrease in energy when there is decrease in energy so they will have maximum stability these two points are very much important for this chapter of covalent and bond actually when the atoms are far apart when the atoms are far apart or I can say when the atoms are far separated they do not interact with each other it means that the uh, what type of interaction they have these two atoms both are having the proton and the neutron proton and electron will attract each other whereas proton proton will repel, repel each other so we can say both both type of interaction is is acting between the molecules if they come closer if they come closer the two forces operate the nucleus of one atom is attracted towards the electron of another and vice versa so energy is released so I, so I have given you the reason why energy is released right now so whenever the nucleus of one atom will attract the electrons of another atom it means energy is released uh, okay whenever I'll give you another uh, so this type of molecules having repulsion as well as attractive forces 
one thing to be remember that that uh, when they comes closer to each other when they come closer to each other a point of minimum energy is obtained it means decrease in energy what does it mean it means a point of minimum energy is attained after attaining the point of minimum energy when they achieve the minimum energy when when there is when when the repulsion and the attractive forces balance each other when repulsive attractive attraction forces balance each other balance each other when this happens at this stage what type of stage when repulsion and the attractive forces balance each other at this stage the two hydrogen atoms are bonded together to form a molecule now it is clear to you how, how they form the molecule okay the energy the energy needs to break this molecule is known as bond dissociate bond dissociation energy bond dissociation energy the energy required to bond to form a molecule we call it as bond energy in bookish language i will write it as that there is total decrease in potential energy when a particular type of bond is formed between the atoms potential energy decreases when a covalent bond is formed in other words the bond energy is what the energy required to form the bond we also see we can see like this okay so when we talk about the orbital concept of covalent bond we are going to discuss the vbt theory it uh, sorry we are already discussing the vbt theory then we say the concept of orbital orbital concept this type of bond the formation of covalent bond takes place takes place as a result when the covalent bond formed when orbital orbital overlap overlap so we can define the bond is formed when there is overlapping of orbitals belongs to two atoms of opposite spin of opposite spin this one is the mo most important point when the orbital overlaps we, uh, we can uh, we can never violate we can never violate a theory named pauli exclusion principle what does pauli exclusion principle say that the an atom can never have the same spin so uh, uh, what does vbt theory orbital concept says that the there is over a covalent bond is formed when there is overlapping of orbital of two atoms having important point is having op opposite spin having opposite spin if they are having opposite spin no then they are then they are eligible for the over for making the covalent bond the overlap basically means partially merge partially partial merge as a result a certain region is common as a result a certain region is common to both of them this region is known as overlap 
region a new orbital known as molecular orbital we call it as we call it as molecular orbital it get forms which surrounded the nuclei of both the combined atoms i'll repeat again or we can say in this form which will surrounded the surround the nucleus of both the combining atoms with their electron density in fact remember these points that stability is maximum in the overlapping region as i told you and the energy is minimum if this is happening then we will say a molecular orbital is is formed so uh, while drawing the h2 molecule how we can draw it h2 molecule we are having the proton we are having the two hydrogen atoms both will combine only if they are having the opposite spin point to remember when they are having the opposite spin this one is acting as a proton central nucleus and both are, these these are acting as a electron both will have the opposite spin when they combine to form when they combine they form in this way in this way now both are having the opposite spin as i told earlier that we overlap means partial merger this is the structure of this is how we can form the structures in vbt under the vbt topic okay points to uh, favorable conditions for the orbital overlapping i'll repeat again at the time of overlapping there must have the opposite spin only the atomic orbital with a half filled another thing to point to remember that opposite spin the second one is we are having the only half filled will participate if there is a full filled while drawing the hundrol structure if they are fully filled they will not participate if they are having the only a half filled then will definitely participate in the formation of covalent bond only a half filled or i can say only one electron one electron if present then they will participate okay we are having the next formation of f2 molecule just take a look if when we are having the f2 molecule when we are having the f2 molecule the atomic number of fluorine is 9 when we write the electronic configuration we will draw it as fluorine this one is 1s this is 1s then we having the 2s is also completely filled then we are having the 2p 2p remember the hint rule that always we need to fill in proper order similarly we are having the in a, so i have write the electronic configuration of fluorine with the help of hint rule that s shell is fully filled 2s is also fully filled when we talk about the p shell as i told earlier only a half filled only a half filled half filled will participate if there is not half filled they are not a part of vbt we can uh, so they will never form the molecular orbital again we are having the f2 molecule for the second molecule again we are having the fully filled this one is 2s and when we are having the we need to fill in this way i i have violet just a uh, i have violet the above 
this one is the proper method of doing so so a fluorine atoms has one half filled atomic orbital therefore two fluorine combine to form a molecule as a result combination of half filled orbital as i'm going to show that combination of half filled combination of half filled will form a single covalent bond so how the how it looks it look like a covalent bond exists in the fluorine this is this is the way that uh, vbt theory explains